We're aboarding with the truth truck from outside the conference hotel in Blackpool. Uh, across behind us here, behind the, the lights and the cameras, there's a very good crowd of um, penguins and their ladies, all beautifully dressed. Thank you very much. Um, Paul Golding here has been taking the truth truck around the country uh, over the last week. He's going to say a few words in a minute. Uh, Mike Housen from the Young British National Party, likewise. I'd yet again like to thank everyone who gave money to buy the truck. Uh, to kit it out. This is just the start. Uh, these skins, this one and the, the really heavy one with the heavy message about anti-white racist attacks on the, the reverse side of this, we show up better against this in the dark. This is why we're using this side. But um, these skins are obviously a special case use. They're really for places like Burnley and Blackburn and Luton, where our people are really up against it, where our people are already an oppressed minority physically, as well as being an overtaxed and oppressed majority. Uh, but very shortly, we'll have the usual campaigning skins sides on here. These come off. It's a special system. They come off very easily and go back on very easily and we'll have campaigning ones which are suitable with a, a vote British National Party next year in the European elections and we'll have those on. They can, it can then really go anywhere in the country and be doing a fantastic job uh, boosting support for and public recognition for our party. So again, thank you very much for everyone who's donated and I'd like from everyone who's here a huge round of applause for the people out there who made it possible. Right, I'll pass you now over to Mike Housen, who leads the Young British National Party. Mike. Thanks very much, Nick. Uh, right, uh, all I'd like to say is this truck belongs to you. So we've used it, first of all. It's gone around most of the regions, but at the end of the month we'll be going around some more and covering a lot of the regions where it hasn't been. And what I will say as well, we've had uh, an excellent response. And what I'd like to ask is all the organisers, give us a list of where you want us to go and the truth truck will go. Paul. Thank you, Mike. Well, when we say truth truck tour, that sort of simplifies it a bit because it took at least three weeks of hard work to actually get this thing on the road. It's just not a matter of jumping in and driving around the country. There was preparation. There was coordination. We, need, we needed to ring people and sort out a route. We needed to agree, agree a budget with the Treasury. We needed to buy equipment. We needed to buy all, all sorts of stuff. It was it, so much hard work went in to this Truth Tuck tour before it even set out. It was a real big slog. Uh, and it, this Monday just gone, half eight, we set off and we hit Brighton. Then we travelled along the coast to Portsmouth, Winchester, Salisbury, Corsham, Bath. The next day we started in Wolverhampton, Dudley, West Bromwich, Black Country, Birmingham. Then we went north to Stoke, Stoke-on-Trent. Then we travelled further north to Manchester. The next morning we travelled for Oldham, Leeds, Middlesbrough, Sunderland, Newcastle, South Shields. Then we came back further south and we went all around London and Essex, Central London, Barking and Dagenham, BNP Stronghold. Then we travelled further east into Essex, Grays, Thurrock, Tilbury, and of course today we've come up here to the northwest. I've spent most of the day in the Blackburn area where we received a good response. And in terms of trouble, there was not a single bit of trouble at all in the whole tour. Not a jot of trouble. We got, you know, one or two of the, two, the fingers. But apart from that, it was at least a thousand good responses, beeps, thumbs up. You know, people coming up the side, giving you yay. And even from ethnic minorities, most of, the, most of the hostility we got was from our own people, from white people. We didn't get no, no hostility whatsoever from ethnic minorities, even in heavily Asian areas. Nick Griffin said to me, if you go Stoke-on-Trent, don't go through Cobridge. Uh, we got lost somewhere in Stoke-on-Trent. <laughs> we looked around and there's Cobridge signs everywhere. But we had all white people going, hey, giving it all that. And he said, beware around Oldham. We spent an hour doing laps of Oldham Town Centre, and then on the way out, it, it was brilliant. We had a fantastic response all over the country. We've done well over a 1,000 miles, I'd say nearer the 2,000 mark. I'm not going to say exactly how many miles we've done, because I know the young BNP are holding a competition, guess the mileage for a prize. 
but uh, from start to finish, all the way, north, south, east, west, it's been brilliant. It's really opened my eyes to how much support we've got, and we started off security conscious, and we realised that we, was, it, we didn't need it. We've been pulling up in petrol stations and filling up, surrounded by at least 50, sometimes 100 people, cars pulling up, people walking past, not a jot of trouble. Even ethnic minorities, most of them just laughed at us. They was indifferent. So uh, it's been a real eye-opener. Eye we've, we've ironed out some mistakes and we know what to do and what not to do now. And future Truth Truck Tours are going to be a lot better than this one. So I'll hand you back to Nick. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for all the hard work. Just to finish off, a message for organisers watching uh, this short report. That, um, as Paul said, now we know... Uh, really how to use this thing particularly effectively and what we need organisers to do to get in touch right before you do so we need to know which is the local newspaper that's sympathetic to us because or at least not bitterly hostile because uh, we'll make sure we're near them we want to know two secondary schools in the area where there's a lot of youngsters liable to support us so that this can visit each lunchtime it's going to visit one secondary school and uh, each Early evening, late afternoon time, it's going to visit another one. If there's any factories still working, then find out what time the factory is finishing so that you've got streams of people coming out. Uh, and likewise, big games, football games, rugby games. We want to know big local derbies in you know, the Blackburns and places like that. And uh, we'll try and get it there so we're reaching as many people as possible with this fantastic tool for getting our message direct to the public. Thank you very much. Let's get in the warm and eat. Thank you. Okay.